Hey guys, you want to see how you can get around San Antonio in a different way? Check this out on San Antonio Living. Students can vote early from October 22nd through November 2nd. One of the polling places in San Marcos is LBJ Student Center. For Bobcat Update, I'm Christina Ochoa. Las Vegas, get ready because South by Southwest is ready to rock your city. Well, we've turned our studio into a makeshift runway, so yes. we will have a complete spring break swimsuit fashion show provided by the clothing of Skinny Dip. So here we go. It's a gorgeous day in San Marcos with temperatures at 80 degrees. Let's take a look at our Texas map. We see that things are relatively warm this time of year with temperatures at 90 degrees in the Brownsville area. For those of you who don't know what Bobcat Build is, well, you're just in luck because later in the show we have Jose Lopez who will be explaining everything there is to know about this event. Many students will be going to the polls for the first time to vote for a presidential candidate. But to participate, they have to be registered. College Republicans and Democrats are spreading the word on campus about early voting, and they're handing out registration cards. We've been out here in the quad um, every week trying to get students registered to vote, talking to them about why we feel our candidates are the best. Staying informed and getting involved are part of the process. This is our first time voting for, for most college students, so pretty much uh, we should know like what's going on. I think it's important for everybody, not just college students, but uh, yes, um, everybody, it's very important to know about what's going on in your community in the world, in your nation. Election day is November 6th, but students can vote early from October 22nd through November 2nd. One of the polling places in San Marcos is LBJ Student Center. For Bobcat Update, I'm Christina Ochoa. Susan Narvaez served as San Marcos mayor for six years before she decided to run for federal office. The Narvaez campaign watched election results at the embassy suites in San Marcos. This seemed a fitting place because construction of the hotel and its adjoining convention center had been one of the triumphs for her administration as mayor. She and her supporters were hoping last night would be a victory party. Susan was a mayor in San Marcos three terms and she worked diligently. I watched her work diligently to help that university become what it is today, grow and prosper. Among the many supporters attending last night's party were volunteers and interns who have worked for Narvaez. Working for Susan was wonderful. Uh, it was an overwhelming experience, but overall a good one. And I'm sure it's going to help uh, me with my future career. Narvaez's campaign netted 32% of the vote against the incumbent congressman who is running for re-election in a newly drawn district. Doggett took 64% of the vote. Even in defeat, Narvaya says she felt her team had been victorious. And we can run the kind of race that our children and grandchildren can be proud of and that they can say, oh, I can go out and speak my ideas, but I don't have to get ugly about it. And I think that's the victory in this. Reporting for Bobcat Update, I'm Christina Ochoa. Kentucky Center College is preparing for Thursday's one and only vice presidential debate. That means making sure alumnus Fred Vinson doesn't miss it. Students have moved the portrait of Vinson, known to the college as Dead Fred, to the debate hall. 